Hello, my name is David Lang. I'm running for the Caribou Chilcotin Green Party. Um, and a little bit about myself. I've been an environmentalist for a very long time and concerned with a lot of issues um, involving the rights of people, indigenous people, uh, minority groups, and um, um, everyday working class Canadians as well, including. Um, why I chose to run this time around was because I really want to have a hand in transforming our economy and our, um, our energy industry away from fossil fuels and moving towards renewable energies. That's something that's very important to me. Um, so that's something that I really want to have my hands in um, getting involved with actually doing. Um, for a long time, I feel like I've spoke truth to power. I've done a lot of grassroots organizing and I feel the next step is to actually run for office and try to um, make the changes from within. Well, I think it's very important to keep small businesses going during this pandemic. I know it's been extremely challenging for a lot of small business owners to keep their shops open, open during this time. Um, a lot of the COVID restrictions also limit their ability to do business. So I really feel it's important to support our small business owners throughout the province, um, um, whichever way we can, to make sure that they are able to remain in business uh, while this pandemic carries on. Um, beyond that, I think there's a lot that we can do to invest in with healthcare um, for um, first responders, people who are um, trying on the front lines here, trying to keep our economy going. Those folks need help. Uh, we need to make sure that they are paid well for what they're doing, and we, you know, we need them to make sure that we can keep our economy on track and going. So I'm, I am very concerned for the well-being of um, everyone in BC right now with this happening. And uh, yeah, so I'm <clears throat> um, definitely committed to ensure that small businesses stay open and that as many people remain working as, as possible, as safely possible during this pandemic. So just another note on that with um, uh, long-term care facilities. I think we need to get more staffing in the long-term care facilities and dramatically increase funding for that sector. Um, I think we have a lot of work to do in this province in that regard and uh, there's jobs to be had there as well. I have to be honest while answering this question. Um, this is my first time running for office and I I have a lot of learning to do uh, when it comes to the relationship between business and government. Um, if elected, I promise to step up to that plate and do what is required, whatever the business community requires of me to ensure that they are remaining in business. Um, but as for now, I, I can't elaborate on that. I'm sorry. Well, our tourist industry in British Columbia is very essential. Um, in the big picture, it generates a great deal of revenue for our province and it's important, very important to keep it running. Um, I know this year the tourism has been down throughout BC and the tourist industry has taken a hit. Um, we need to ensure that we do keep our tourist industry functioning and in, in, in business going into this next year um, because we, we have to look at the big picture after COVID and um, this industry is essential to our province and uh, keeping, it, keeping it going right now is uh, very important to me. Well, um, the forest industry is definitely a central part of the economy in the BC interior. Um, one thing that I really want to look into, um, if elected, is how we can make our forest fire, or sorry, our forests more um, more protected in the event of severe fires. Um, so, um, we all went through the the last wave of forest fires throughout BC, um, and if elected, I would like to work with the forest industry to try to ensure that our forests are more fire safe and that our communities are more protected from forest fires. Um, beyond that, I wanna say that, you know, the, the forest industry is a vital source of economy for our province and uh, working with the forest industry is something that I would be more than willing to do. Um, I wanna ensure that the forest resource remains intact for future generations. I wanna make sure that we're not over harvesting and over logging, but I wanna make sure also that um, the forest industry is able to be, you know, we are, we are harvesting logs and we are, um, the forest industry is operating. Um, just want it to be done in ways that are sustainable, long-term and um, responsible.